All right, so today um, we want to talk about histograms. Hopefully this will be a short video because in this video we're just going to look at how the bin size affects the shape of the um, distribution, okay? So we're simply going to use some World Health Organization data and the histogram applet in StatCrunch. I'm just going to kind of free flow with it uh, to demonstrate the differences that it can make, all right? Um, and then we'll just talk about some ways to make sure that you have a bin size that is just right. So let's switch over. Here's my uh, life expectancy data collected for a bunch of countries. Um, and so they have life expectancy um, for 60 year olds currently, I think, uh, that are female, uh, 60 year olds uh, currently that are male, and then the um, life expectancy at birth for a female and life expectancy at birth for a male, right? Um, but really all I want to do is I'm going to open up the applet here and I, I encourage you to do this, okay, uh, with your students or if you're a student to kind of play around with it. And I'm going to go down here to histogram with sliders. And when you click on it, you have the ability to choose any column that has numerical data in it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is look at the fairly uh, symmetric life expectancy female data. And when I compute that, mm -hmm. um, this is what I have. And I'm going to make it just a little, a little bigger um, so that it fits uh, my viewing window here. Okay, so here's the data. And as you can see, it goes up. It's, it looks like it's got a mode here. It goes down. I would not consider this a mode. This is probably just due to the bin size that this finger is um, pointing up here. But you definitely have a natural progression up and a natural progression down. Um, it seems like it's pretty centered on about 80 uh, years old. Um, you've got a little gap here, but these guys aren't going to be outliers, right? Now, this is a bin width right of one and a quarter years so you're thinking well what's that mean one and a quarter years let's make it uh let's make it smaller all right um let's make it one year all right so i bring it down to one year now you can see there's a, some more gapage right and now it's kind of running up and downhill that nice sort of unimodal um symmetric uh look is now gone because these are all by one year if you go by less than one year, because this data is by year, if you go to half a year, the, everything has a gap. Um, the shape doesn't really change much. But basically what you've done is you've just created these really narrow um, bins, and you can't really see what's going on. So this is what happens when you make it too small. Now let's go to the other end of the spectrum. What happens if I start going by like maybe five years, right? Oh, let's start at five years. Well, you notice you've only got four bars. Um, it does still look fairly symmetric, unimodal. Um, you might say it was skewed to the right a little bit with the 90 being higher than the 70. Um, but you've really obscured what's going on here. And if you take it even a little further to like maybe seven years, now you've only got three bins. And it certainly looks unimodal and symmetric, but is that really what the data looks like, right? So these bins are just too wide. So what we want to do is we want to crank it back a little bit. And at three, that finger is gone. You've got that now sort of clearly it's right skewed, right? Um, these guys are little. You've got this uh, mode up here and it's clearly going down to the right and so this is clearly skewed to the right unimodal data three looks like a pretty good picture of what the distribution should look like if I make it two and a half which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense you start to see that second mode right starting to pop up and again I would not call this bimodal but you do have this finger that's popping up here um, as you start cranking down to two and a half, um, as I go down to two years, two years actually isn't too bad, okay? Um, you still are preserving that right skew, 
there's no ga gaps in the data. Um, you do have that little bump right there, but it's generally going up and then a general trend down. So I'm thinking probably a bin size of two years or um, three years is probably pretty good. Anything smaller than that, especially when you get down to one year, it's it's really bumpy. It's really hard to tell what's going on. When you get up to uh, five or six years, there's just too few bins to kind of see what's going on. Um, if you really wanted to go crazy and make it eight years, right? You know, now it actually looks like there's potentially some people who were older than um, 90, and I don't think that's true. There aren't. There aren't anybody. There isn't anybody. Um, and so there you go. So this is what uh, the histogram would look like. So just to, to ke keep in mind these guidelines um, from the video, uh, the computer's not always right, but it will be close. Let me illustrate that. Let me close this out, and let me just graph the histogram of that female data, right, um, and just compute it, right? I'm not going to do anything to it. As you can see, um, it is going to start at 70. It's going to go to about 90. It does have that finger there. This is close, but this is not great, okay? So the computer's not always right, but it will be close. Um, gaps do not always mean an outlier. Um, so use a box plot to double check. Um, again, you know, we've got this gap right here. Does that mean these are outliers? Well, if I graph a box plot of that data, and again, I'm just going to do that, you can see there's actually no outliers um, there in the box plot. Okay, um, and then the mean being close to the median is really helpful in determining uh, symmetry and how skewed a distribution is. And so one last thing I want to do is what, if you do just graph a pure histogram um, in StatCrunch, you can go ahead and click mean and median to see how close they are together. The other thing that you can do is overlay a normal distribution. And if you click on that, what you'll see is that the mean is 80.5, 80.6. The mean is 80. Those are super close together. You can see that the bars all follow the normal distribution except for this crazy one right here. And of course, I could probably fix that if I went ahead and started at 70 and had a bin width of 3 and I clicked compute and now you can see that it fits very nicely with the normal distribution and so this isn't going to be um, too bad this is pretty normal All right. so the mean being close to the median is really helpful in determining symmetry um, that's it for today I hope that really helps you understand um, how there is a size that um, is better than others and that makes us happy